Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OV1 students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 31 in the series and is entitled Calling JFrame Forms. For our activity, we will create an application sample form that calls three JFrame forms using its built in menu. The three JFrame forms are specified as follows Form 1 will have a JTAB pane and three JFanels for its tabs. Form 2 will have a J table and Form 3 will have a J3. Let's create a new project. Let's call it a Calling Forms. Let's create an application sample form. If you can't see it, go to Other, Soon GUI, GUI Forms, and there, Application Sample Form. This will be our main form. So let's call it Main Form. Finish. The good thing about this application sample form is that it already has this menu. We will use this uh, to call our other forms. But before that, let's uh, create next our three forms. So right click our package and then select chief frame form. Let's call this a uh, form one. So for this form, we will use a tab pane. Let's maximize uh, the area. And we will be needing three panels uh, for that's its three tabs. So there's one, two, and three. It's as easy as that. Now we have this uh, three tabs for our tab pane. That's form one. Let's create a second form, a new G frame form. So this time it's form two. For form 2, uh, we will add a J table. The J table is there. Okay, that's our J table. And another form, right click, new, uh, J frame form. This is now form 3. And finish. That has a J3 there our j3 a j3 is like an explorer a windows explorer okay one thing uh, that we did not do here is that uh, we have to change uh, one of its properties called default close operation so we are going to our j frame there it has a double close operation right now it's exit on close if it will be exit on close uh, after we close uh, this frame, it will exit from the system, which is not what we intend to do because we still have the main form. So we'll change it to hide. The same thing we will do for form two. There, our form two. We will change it to hide and the last one is our form one so also we'll make it hide okay so now we can go back to our main form and go to our file uh, this one open uh, we'll try to edit it and change it to open form one for this file itself, we can change it to open. The same, we will do the same, but this time it will be open form 2. And the last one, we'll edit also the text, we'll change it to open form 3. Okay, so we will now create our events. So for form one, just double click it. Okay. We'll. Uh, there are two ways actually of doing it. Uh, we'll do the first one. Uh, one is we have to instantiate our actual frame. For this one, it's form one. And then call its instance the object using its uh, method set visible and make it true. 
Okay, so let's go back to the design. This time for form 2. Another way is to simply, uh, you don't have to name your instance, just make the instance. So form 2 and then dot uh, set visible, that's the method, and the same thing, make it true. Go back to the design, form 3, double click. So you can do the same as the, the second form. Form 3 dot set visible is equal to true. Okay, so now we can run it. Okay, let's open, open form 1. There's our form 1 with three tabs. Close it. It remains on our main form. Let's open now second form, form 2. Now this is the form with the table and we can add here. That's our table. Let's close it. Again, it's our main form and our form tree and this is the form with a tree. Okay, so we just finished demonstrating calling forms using application sample forms and JFrame forms. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Ma salama.